Last topic in this Python crash course is Python modules. And using Python modules, you could split your Python application into different files and define different parts of your code in different files as well. And essentially, every file in your project that has extension.py is Python module. And now there is only single module called main.py. There are also system modules that you could use in your modules. For example, there is module called math. Also, there are external modules that you could install if you need to use them. Let's start by using built-in modules in Python. And if you want to import some variables from another module, you need to use import keyword. You could import only specific variables from other module. Or you could import entire module. For instance, let's import module called math. It is built in Python module. And here you could read that this module provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the system Dart. Let's perform import of entire module. And now here in main.py file, we are able to access any variables defined in this math module. And if you type math and a dot, after dot you'll see all possible variables that are present in the math module. And you are able to use any of those variables inside of the main.py file in your own module. For example, you have access to the variable called pi. It is basically pi constant. And if you print, you'll actually see float number. Here it is. In similar way, you are able to access any variables defined here in the math module. Let's now create our own module. Let's remove that from here. And let's create in our project new file and let's call it own underscore math underscore module. Name could be any you want with extension .py. Here in this own math module.py file, let's define function called sum with two parameters a and b. Here let's add description for this function. For instance, sums two numbers. And let's return a plus b. Very simple. That's what you need to do here in this file. And now we are able to import this sum function from the own math module into the main.py module. Very easily, using same keyword, import own math module. Notice that VS Code suggests me name of this module, because now it knows about presence of such module in our Python application. That's why let's press tab in order to autocomplete name of this module. And now here I could access any variables defined in this module. Let's call some function defined here in this module. Simply like that. Own math module dot sum. Here again you see suggestion. And let's call it with two arguments. Also here you see name of two parameters a and b. And description of the function sums two numbers 5 and 6. And also let's print this to the terminal, like that. Let's run the code, and I see 11. That's how very easily using import keyword, you are able to reuse functionality defined in other Python modules. If you want, you could also import only specific variables using following syntax. From own math module import sum. And now on this line, we don't need to access own math module dot sum. Simply call sum like that. Let's run the code and the result is the same. This means that if you want to perform selective import only from some variables from the module, you could use such syntax. From name of the module, import and here names of the variables you want to import. If you want to import entire module, you could use simply import keyword. That's it for Python modules. And that's actually it for this Python crash course. As you've seen, Python is a relatively simple language, and it is very close to the human language. There are such words as AND, OR, NOT, and not so many special characters. Now you know basics of the Python language, and I wish you good luck in further exploration of the Python.